everybody, Bruce Becker here for part two of my time concepts lesson for Zildjian drum set workout. We worked on the first lesson with the 6-8 rhythm. Now we're going to get into the mambo. And I call this a jazz mambo because this is really reminiscent of the great jazz drummers that influenced me, Billy Higgins, Alvin Jones, Art Blakey. And uh, the rhythmic format of how I've written it out is in eighth notes. Now, it's going to be played in cut time, though. And the reason I write it out in eighth notes is just, I think visually it's been easier for my students in the past to read through. And uh, when you've seen some of the Latin books that are available out there, it would be written in that same way in an eighth note fashion and meant to be played in cut time. So cut time means, really, that it will be turning into a 16th note feel in relationship to what we did with our 6-8 feel, which was a triplet feel. So from triplets to 16th notes. And that's the whole uh, crux of this lesson, is to really push those time concepts of transitioning rhythmically to a, from a triplet to a 16th note. I call that third gear to fourth gear. Let's try to make a smooth transition with that. So let's break down the parts. Now, because I'm written in eighth notes and it's in cut time, that means my bass drum really turns into being half notes. We were playing one, two, three, four. When I transition into the mambo, it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's the basic premise. Let's bring it back in tempo and let's do what we did in the 6 8 rhythm and break down the components of what we have with the ride cymbal. So a little bit slower. One, two, three, four, now with the simple pattern. One, two, three, four, and 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 one, two, Examine what's going on with the left hand. Our first cross stick will fall on beat two. So it'll be one, two. Our tom will fall on the and a four on the first bar. So that'd be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the second bar will have a cross stick on the and of two. Followed by two toms on four ends. So let's put all those parts together and play them slowly and just work on the left hand for a moment. We have one, two, Now let's do the same building block process that we put forward in the 6-8, and we'll add one left hand at a time. Now because we're in cut time, it's going to be two bar phrases, but really we're thinking in 16. I'll do each you know, two bar phrase, and I'll add a part. So I'll do that every four bars. So here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four.
now we have the mambo. Let's put the two parts together. Let's stay slow and methodical. Before we add any left hand, let's see what we're up against with cymbal pattern to cymbal pattern. 6-8 to mambo. Here we go. One. So now we have the idea of what we're going to do with the transition. Let's put all the parts together and see if we can hang nice and easy. A one, two, a one. So there you have it, the 6-8 Afro-Cuban rhythm transitioning into the jazz mambo. Let's do that one more time, just at a little bit of an increased tempo. See if we can hang. So we got one, two, one, two, three.
a nice increased tempo. Let's go one more. Let's kick some butt. One, two, a one, two, three. That is my time concepts lesson. Bruce Becker here for Zildjian Symbol Drum Set Workout. Hope you enjoyed that. Look for more content in the future. And of course, look at the plethora of information here on the website. I hope to see you down the line. Bruce Becker here from Woodland Hills, California saying peace.